Hey friends, it's Bob at Kaler's Aquatics and I just wanted to share something that I thought was just adorable with you. Um, first of all, I've been doing water changes for the past six or seven hours. I use my python and I have all of my freshwater tanks and a couple of bowls. Uh, all the water's changed on those. I have uh, six tanks to go, but those are marine tanks, uh, saltwater tanks, and I'll be getting uh, fresh supplies of salt tomorrow. Uh, I mix two brands of salt, so uh, I'll get that accomplished tomorrow. Uh, they were uh, changed uh, less than a week ago, so that's fine. But while changing the water in this 180, which is fresh water, um, and I do have the filtration all turned off except for a couple of uh, sponge filters so that it's quiet. Um, hopefully, I started to say hopefully the dogs will cooperate, but uh, I guess they read my mind. Um, I noticed the, uh, a couple of the little uh, platinum parrots were very, very busy when uh, I was filling the tank up and they had been busy for some time. Sorry about that, but they'll stop in a minute. So when I watched them a little closer, I noticed all the sand that had been thrown over on the rocks here. And uh, uh, this uh, water level was about halfway down. I had not started feeling it, so it water change didn't uh, spark anything, uh, a spawn or anything. Uh, they were already busily at it. But what they've done is uh, started uh, building themselves a uh, nest to spawn in. And they have cleared out that area. Uh, they have a big hole down there. And uh, there are three of these guys. And I've been searching for, there's their home right there. <laughs> I was over a little bit too far that way. I was over there. So there's all the sand. Sorry. Um, that is the male, I believe. They're a little, see her spitting it out. Now these guys, uh, the little one, the female, is mm, not quite as big as a silver dollar. Um, the other one, the one I think that's the male that's there, is a little bigger than a silver dollar. So that gives you a frame of reference for their size. Uh, there is another one. Um, and actually, these guys have all been very tight together. Uh, it just went down in the, uh, under the rocks there. Um, this isn't really scaped yet. I've just got some wood, large pieces of wood held down with uh, some very big rocks. Um, so there are just natural caves and so forth under there. Uh, there's the other one. So this guy comes over still, and I think this is a, another male because it's a little bit bigger like the one that I think is the male there. Um, and see what happens. <laughs> and then look right back <laughs> isn't that cute and he's like well I don't know should I play or should I go back and I have no idea if these guys uh, there's not a lot of literature about them out there I've had them maybe two months uh, they've about doubled in size um, they're uh, platinum parrots. Sorry, let me get a focus here. Um, and they're derived, they're a hybrid, they're derived from uh, King Kong parrots and convict uh, cichlids. And look at him blow up. That's, that's what I first noticed was him. Watch this. Look at him do the cichlid, the, the shaking, and her too. Look at them standing up to those big fish. And the big fish are just like, what are you doing? But you, you can see with this quarantine, uh, it's taken very little to amuse me, uh, but I would want to video this anyway. They're just so adorable, really, really cute. I realize I get a little bit uh, more into my fish than some people do and document things that other people may not find interesting, but that's okay i do so she's hey there so she, she's still really busy 
uh, down there digging and they've brought all of that sand, all of that, that mound and all of that there, all of that over there. They brought all of that out a mouthful at a time. So they must have worked on this all day and I just didn't notice after I fed them about lunchtime. It's about 10, 10, 15 at night now and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. I hate to because they're just so much fun to watch. This is a little odd guy out. I can't get a focus there. I think it's getting the leaves but There we go. You can see the parrot in them. I don't know if these guys uh, are sterile after, uh, so I need to go back and do some more research on them and look at more obscure, uh, more obscure, um, papers and so forth. Uh, most of what I read was from sites that had them posted for sale. Um, I know that they were created maybe in the 90s. Look at this. Wow, sorry. Uh, let me come out a little bit. There. Uh, and they've just recently uh, began to import them. Um, they were uh, primarily kept in the Indonesian area after they were created, for lack of a better terminology. Um, and I had never seen them before two months ago, but apparently all the uh, importers and the transshippers and so forth, wholesalers are beginning to carry them. But I am looking and looking. I'd love to have two or three more, and especially I'd love to have uh, one to pair with that um, one that doesn't have a pair. So who knows? Maybe they'll spawn. I don't know if they'll be fertile or not. Uh, if any of you guys know about them, um, I don't think anybody had kept them. If they did, they didn't tell me um, or knew about them. But I may be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope somebody does know about them and uh, can provide that kind of information. Um, they don't get very big. I know I'm all over the place here, but um, I didn't think they were big enough to be doing this kind of stuff. But they are definitely, definitely, sorry about the other tank back there. Let's see, she's down there. I guess, apparently, if that is the male, the bigger one. And look, look at her. She's like, what are you doing? Get out of there. They're just precious. They're adorable. They're just so little. Look at him. He bit him. <laughs> I don't think the bigger fish are going to loop there. He comes back. He's like, what are you guys doing down there? And there he comes and chases him back. And there, they're all three out now. So this, look at them. Look at them, they're all playing now. She's like, no, you come back. You come back, you can't play. They're so funny. And the literature about them did say they're just so personable and that people love them because they're so interactive. And she's like, you stay over here with me. You don't go out with the guys. All right, I'm rambling and being silly, but. I'd like to try and get a little shot down into there if possible, but that may not work. Uh, the angle's gonna be, see what they're doing is actually going under that rock. Um, you know, I've got two large Cenodonis cats in here and several other little, little fish uh, that can get down in there quite easily. Um, so we'll see. This will be interesting. Lots of little geos and keyhole cichlids and that kind of thing. I'm just totally you can see she's uh, trying it out to see if they can get in there to spawn. They're staying their platinum color, but they have like a translucence about them now. Look at that. I 
wonder. I doubt anybody's still here watching this, but uh, if you are, you are. If you're not, you're not, right? I just wonder if I can see a little bit or maybe. Uh-oh, she ran away the little keyhole. Yeah, I definitely need to get get back and uh, do some serious uh, scientific research on them and see who's kept them and not just uh, the for sale sites that, that have them with generic information about them. Pretty much what I said is all I know about them, um, which is not much. I wanted to see if she's going under there. Oops, the little keyhole sickly just, that's the little odd colored one. There's two of them, the one, that one's the weird one. That one's Sandy Dowdy's, she picked him out. It's her buddy. So, let me get off here. It's been 11 and a half minutes, which surprises no one. And, uh, Gonna get myself something to eat and the dogs and cats something to eat and get these guys their supper and I'm gonna get their uh, tidal filters turned back on. Uh, Jay, Big Jay's, sorry, Flight of Ideals has uh, one of these guys. It's not this big, it might be half that big or two thirds that big, but it's a redhead Tapahoe. And he wasn't sure, he has two of them actually, but that's what they'll look like Jay. Well, you know what they look like. You know what they look like. So, and I've got some small ones coming on up. There's one. That one hangs with that one, and it's the biggest of the small. There's two others. It's running that one away. So, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Hope you got some enjoyment. Oh, there's a uh, good uh, great uh, thumbnail. Thanks guys. Stay safe. Stay in find things to be silly about.